the dress. Yeah. What's up guys? It's officially the start of wedding vlogs. Oh my goodness. I can't believe this, this is finally happening. So I'm getting married this August. Um, and I'm not doing it at a traditional venue, so I can tell you more about that in vlogs to come. But that means that I am doing a lot of this wedding planning myself as opposed to like in a package that a venue might offer you. So I have, I have to gather my tent people, my flower people, my food, my DJ, all that stuff. Um, so I know it's gonna be a lot of work and I want to bring you guys along with me on the journey because it's gonna be interesting as I have never planned a wedding before. Um, so the first thing that I need to do obviously is get my wedding dress, which is gonna be really exciting. I had already pre-looked and pre-sort of searched online for what styles I like and what direction I kind of wanna go in, but I know that what you see online on models and what you like on yourself could be totally different things, which I'm nervous about. Um, I hope that's not the case. So what I need to do now is go into some stores and try and find these dresses that I really like online, try them on, hopefully something works out, um, because I know that getting a wedding dress takes a lot of time to order it in and all that crazy stuff. So this is gonna be exciting. I'm gonna bring you guys with me we're gonna try on some wedding dresses. This is gonna be crazy. Um, I'm really excited for more of this behind the scenes series. If there's anything you wanna know about or wanna see from me regarding wedding planning, please let me know below so I can try and film it. Um, should we go get a wedding dress? Okay, so today is the first official day of looking for wedding dresses. Uh, I'm already like six months away from the wedding and everyone's saying this is super last minute to get a dress. I was not aware that it takes that long to get a wedding dress. So I found a couple I like online, but I think they're mostly American designers, which is a problem because in Canada, we don't get everything that's available in the States. But I'm gonna call some of these stores listed and see what they have. So here are some of the dresses that I was looking at. Um, this whole brand, Waters, I am obsessed with. Like everything that they make is beautiful. So this is a corset by itself, and then you pick a skirt to go with it. And I really am in love with that idea of mixing and matching two pieces. I just think you get to customize it a bit more that way. And I just love the look of like a really fancy corset and a really simple skirt. This is an example of actually a dress that is like one piece, but it looks like that. Um, this one's called Della. It's so bright. This also is a um, full dress, but it looks like a dress corset combo. And I think it's beautiful too. And another designer that I'm in love with, but I know she's really expensive, is Haley Page. This is a Haley Page dress that, oh my goodness, is so gorgeous. Ugh. I love this color too. It's not really white. It's like a tan almost. But it has kind of that like tight top and then the really billowy skirt. I think this is beautiful. Hi there. I see online that you carry water dresses. We do, yeah. Okay, some of those sound promising. Probably gonna go check out a couple stores today and bring you guys with me. All right guys, I'm here at the wedding dress shop. I'm actually feeling really good about this place. I went to a place earlier and tried on some dresses that I didn't love, but this is the place that has the designer that I really want. So I'm gonna go try them on. When I called them, they said that you aren't allowed to film in there, but we'll see what happens. Maybe I can be sneaky. <laughs> but either way, I will let you know, yes or no, how it goes. Wish me luck. All right, I apologize for the terrible lighting. I just wanna get my thoughts out before I forget how the experience was. Definitely no filming in there. That's actually the store where they filmed the um, the Say Yes to the Dress Canada version. So I'm thinking that's why they don't want you to film in there because they film a TV show in there. But I did try on some of the Waters dresses and the one corset top I absolutely love. It's a little expensive though for just a top. And the skirt that I really wanted from them they didn't have. Um, but I tried on a full dress that had kind of the lace top corset and the skirt that was similar to the water skirt all in one dress and I really liked that one. I'm the kind of person that definitely like needs to feel like I tried out all my options before I go with something because I'm like a huge what if there was something better kind of person which is not a helpful way to be like I definitely wish I was the person that could just 
fall in love with something and say that's it like I'm not gonna think about anything else ever but I like to feel like I tried everything that I could so I have an appointment coming up next week at Kleinfelds Canada so I'm gonna go there and I know they carry waters dresses there as there as well so um, I'm gonna try on some of the water dresses there just so I can feel like I've tried on a lot of that brand and I can know. The only problem with that is that I know it's expensive to do a corset top in a skirt bottom combo as opposed to a single dress. And I'm really trying to keep this dress not that expensive. But, oh, why is my style so particular? It's crazy. Yeah. And I know I'm kind of doing this last minute. Here's the crazy thing about weddings being honest here you have to do so much all at once and so far in advance for what it feels like far in advance my wedding is about six months from now which is a whole half a year and you if you didn't start planning earlier six months is like the latest and you have to do everything all like I have to do everything in like a two-week span it feels like like I have to get the dress so they can order it in I have to book the caterer my photographer my like tent rental company I have to get them all right now because if you don't they're gonna get filled up and for me six months is a long time for me to change my mind about things like I'd be fine making decisions in like a week if they were for an event that was happening a month from now but making all these decisions for something that's happening like half a year away to be honest kind of stresses me out wedding real talk here my biggest advice to anyone who's thinking about even if okay even if you're not thinking about get ma getting married at all I started a Pinterest board like forever ago before I even like was dating my fiance I had this Pinterest board and I would just like slowly pull ideas of things I really liked and that's the best way to go because I have this collection of things I know I love so when it comes to the dress or like which tables I want people to sit at I can be like okay here's the ones I know I, I like I've liked them for over a year because I've had this Pinterest board for so long so I'm sure I'm gonna like them a year from now and then you can just compare what your options are to what you know you like hopefully they connect and then you can go from there that's kind of what I'm doing right now like I have this solid board of inspo that I know if I get close to any of those things I'll be happy because I liked those ideas for so long <sighs> but yeah dress we're getting somewhere because the one I tried on today I really like I just want to assess out my other options but if not I really like that one which is great um, I'm gonna show you I'm gonna try and find a picture of it so that I can show you I'm gonna show you hopefully I can film in Kleinfeld and then I can show you some of my like runner-ups and options and I don't know if I'm gonna show you guys like the one yet or not I haven't decided I think it'd be fun to show like my top three and then have you guys guess which one I picked um, I'm not sure yet obviously I know you guys want to know the one I picked but these vlogs are going up early and I don't know if I want my dress out there for six months to have potentially six months of people telling me they don't like it <laughs> That's another thing with weddings is you get a lot of unwarranted opinions. So you have to be pretty like, know yourself really well and what you like and be able to stand by that because you're gonna have people telling you everything and they're gonna make you question everything that you think you liked. So definitely go and plan your dream wedding and don't ask for anyone's advice while you're planning it and then after that if there's something you're sure you know you want and you want it nothing changed about it be careful who you tell I guess I'm just spitting random wedding advice at you now and everything that I've learned very quickly but be careful who you tell if it's something you know you're not willing to budge on because you don't want people like giving you all kinds of opinions and telling you that they don't like it or it's not nice especially if it's something you know you want because that's gonna make you kind of feel bad on the inside like I've had that a little bit already where it's like this is something I really want to do it's not that outrageous it's definitely possible and people are like mm, why like why would you want to do that and it's like and then you're like I don't know I just like it and then it makes you feel like you makes you question everything okay I'm gonna go because clearly I'm going a little bit crazy but it's okay this is an exciting process I'm really excited to share the rest of it with you especially in better lighting um 
I'm really hoping I can film at Kleinfeld's because I just want to show you guys me in some dresses because it's been a really fun time. Like I can't, it's so crazy seeing me in actual wedding dresses. Like I've been thinking about a wedding for so long um, and now it's actually happening, which is crazy and it's so exciting and I'm so happy that I get to share it with you guys and impart my wisdom or what I'm going through and what I'm learning with you guys so that it helps people who are going through this as well. If you guys are getting married, you're in the process of getting married and you like agree and sympathize with any of the stuff I've said, please let me know below so I know that I'm not alone on this crazy adventure. All right, I will catch up with you guys when I have more updates to share. Okay, I'm on my way to Kleinfeld now where I'm meeting my mom and my sister and we're gonna try on some dresses. Feeling good, I'm good. Okay, we're here in Kleinfels and it's so beautiful. I'm here with my sissy. Hi. And they, I just like the way they've laid them out, makes me want all of them. It's so beautiful in here, I can't, I can't, I can't. So I have someone who's been assigned to take care of me and she's already so fun and amazing, I love her. So she's gone to pick something based on what I told her I want, but we just get to look around and if there's anything else that I think I might like, we get to pull it. So let's look at some dresses. These are definitely the style that I think I want. I know I couldn't show you what I tried on in the other store, but it was something similar to this, like a tiered bottom piece with a really nice corset top. I like the idea of this, where it's like a different color under the lace. Oh yeah. I don't. Is that supposed to look nude though? I don't know. I think it's supposed to look nude against your skin. Right. I don't like the skirt, but you don't like the volume of it, or like the tool? the material, the tool. It's too simple, I think. What about this, Mom? Is this your dress? I don't know, but I had to check out the price of 18000 <laughs> I just had it to know. So we're here at Kleinfeld's, just got our very classy water, and we are eagerly awaiting for the bride to come out. We are super excited. Are you excited? Ooh, I can't wait. My baby's getting married. Yes, she is. <gasps> oh my god, I love that. Okay, Hera. Okay. Okay. Each one gets better. Look at the skirt on that one. This was my vision for her. Look at the skirt though. I think this is the one thing she's maybe not loving, but I just think this overall look with that, again, that really unique lace. You get that beautiful lace scallop in the back, that ruching at the bust of the skirt. Oh, the bad. skirt's really beautiful. Oh, let me see the back feet. Really nice. The back is really pretty. Like, I love I the can, back. I can't do better than this. You could have so many good, like, over the shoulder moments. moments. Yes, so we're just gonna do the skirt. Yeah. Do you like this skirt or no? I like the other skirt better. Me too. So this one would be like a DIY dress. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's still pretty gorgeous. It's a little, it's more tulipy, like in the tears. It's less flouncy. Yeah. Although I do like it. <laughs> I, mm -hmm. is the DIY dress that we could do. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. Or it's the kind of skirt that I wanted. I love that top on you. I think it's very beautiful. Do you like it? Even a little bit? I love Because this is the same designer, so they could mix and match. Because the back of that dress is so gorgeous. It's brand new. Oh, it's just Isla. It's one of my favorites. That's the one that's come in. So. But yeah, her bride liked it. Yeah, and these are made in Toronto. It's just summer. So, so nice. And it's wow. Like, the price is amazing. Well, that is nice. Strap, it's... Sorry, none of the other ones made me cry. So made me, <laughs> that one made me cry. Yeah. This one made me cry. Aww. This dress made me cry. Aww. I don't know what Do it we is. love it? I, I don't know if it's this or this or this. Or just the back. There's just like, there's moments I really like about it. I love it too. Dad, do you love it? Yeah, I like it. Are you saying yes to the dress? Yes! Yeah. Love it. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna bring special toast, so keep your camera ready. Oh. Are you saying yes to the brass to the sisters? Do you like it, Dad? Yes, I like it. Yay. <laughs> 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 
guys, we did it! Are you excited? Yeah! <laughs> Yay! So, oh my goodness, you guys, it happened. I did it. I picked a dress and I'm so happy. I don't think I ever properly explained that um, I just placed the order for it, so I have to wait for a couple months for it to come in in time and then they do alterations and all that. So I don't actually have it, I've just picked it and then all that fancy behind the scenes stuff happened. So I was gonna not actually tell you guys which one I ended up going with and have you guess in the comments, but looking back on it, um, the clips of me and my family with me in the final dress were just way too cute not to use. So I thought I might as well show you guys and then you can be just as excited for me, with me, um, up until the day of. So this is the first vlog in the wedding series. There is definitely gonna be a lot more to come. Um, as I have more and more stuff planned. Next up is actually gonna be bridesmaid dresses. I'm going with all my girls to a very special place to try on some dress options. So there's gonna be a vlog about that coming out soon. And if you wanna know any more wedding stuff, some stuff actually happened on the main channel. I did my wedding invitations and we did some DR wedding decor all on the main channel, which I will link some of that at the end of here. Let me know if you guys are enjoying the wedding vlogs and what kind of stuff you'd want to see going forward. Thanks so much for joining me guys as I chose my dress. This is a really, really exciting time and I'm excited for all the stuff going forward. Thanks so much and we will see you next time. Bye!